content delivery networks as we know have the potential to accommodate and provision an arbitrary arbitrarily large number of users from anywhere in the world there's a problem associated with limited infrastructure when it comes to the content delivery networks because they have to rely on support from other content delivery networks or other data centers within a content delivery network if it is overwhelmed this is the issue or the problem of request redirection the problem gets more complicated with the presence of the dynamic content which is different from static contents as we know which are simple files which can't be altered in this module we are going to look at the diurnal effect the dynamic content and its relationship with the request redirection diurnal effect as we know is the time of the day effect which is uh, going to have a peculiar impact on the infrastructure of content delivery network when the users become increasingly high uh, this is observed almost at every website the problem is even further complicated because of flash crowds the typical example given is of uh, uh, victorias this situation can cause a significant delay in the service time uh, so much so that up to 20% of more uh, load could be observed and corresponding 20% more time in the service time how could this be handled it could be handled by provisioning resources on certain estimates if the estimates are based on peak utilization then we can expect better response time but this is going to come at a trade off because the system is largely going to remain underutilized because not always the system is peak uh, uh, is uh, peakly utilized similarly on the other side if we now measure the load as a mean in this case the dimensioning of the network on the mean load would result into better network utilization but it would become problematic whenever the network traffic surges let's look at the problem complication when we have dynamic content these days each user has its its own profile and has a personalized uh, view such as using cookies and uh, by login so it means if a user wants to have a more personalized experience it needs to have content that is that is dynamically generated uh, you can say on the fly this could depend upon the user's uh, profile user's location uh, the past history and of course the particular nature of the query itself so the con the content in the form of a web page would now comprise the static content and the dynamic content the dynamic content is different from the static content in that it burdens the infrastructure in a certain way for example if it requires a new process to be created for example using cgi scripts then some kind of um compute uh, burden is going to arise similarly if it is accessing database then particular type of database query is going to have a certain kind of php script which would in turn execute so it means that for dynamic content it is going to burden the compute infrastructure whereas for static content the um, requirement for looking up at the um, load balancing strategies or um, uh, service optimization strategies the typical requirement could have been to look for the nearest server but uh, in in the dynamic case uh, it it's not always that uh, uh, situation so here in in addition to being the closest server the server also has to be least loaded let's now look at the request redirection that is the request is uh, from the client is now going to be redirected to the corresponding server depending upon which particular part or the tier of the network has to be load balanced or redirection is to be executed at what point so we have the user that initiates query or client request 
this particular request goes to the to the access tier and then on the back end we have typically the web server as the web tier then the web server could be getting dynamic content that is getting executed runtime at the application tier and the application tier could in turn be connected to a database tier so redirection is now going to be either initiated by the client itself or by the server the request initialization at the client or server is has its roots in making a decision whether the client is going to handle it uh, its redirection itself or it's going to be the server doing that so if it is the client then the client uh, query is redirected by the client itself uh, to a server by a proxy which is uh, installed on the client side uh, akamai networks which is one of the largest and well, most well known uh, content delivery networks in the us uh, this kind of uh, mechanism could work uh, the uh, client side proxy could also be termed as the edge server or uh, an entire overlay uh, the client side is going to make a, a judgment call on the basis of uh, uh, network traces and measurements for instance uh, by using simple tools like trace root or ping then the uh, 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 client actually selects the server uh, in the network proximity uh, which is going to uh, serve this uh, request best um, and is also uh, least loaded now this particular mechanism is known as a uh, url rewriting this also is going to involve a dns um, name to ip address resolution the server side redirection is uh, uh, more robust that the client does not have to do much the request is forwarded to a uh, to to uh, an initial cluster or a certain uh, data center uh, there the uh, redirector service within the cluster or the data center redirects the request away to the to the best server let's look at the redirection example we already have understood the uh, multi tiered cluster architecture on the basis of the same architecture uh, if we look at the figure on the right hand side we see that we have an initial client request arriving at uh, internet data center on the left hand side here the redirection is going to be activated not at the web tier not at the application tier but it's going to be redirected to a different database tier it means probably the data center is at another place which hosts the right database with the right resource records so the redirector service dispatches this request or forwards the request to the most appropriate internet data center now this kind of uh, forwarding or redirection serves the purpose and it helps the fastest provisioning of dynamic content for the cdn users uh, which are looking at a certain content for application provisioning we are continuing with the same book of rajkumar bhaiya pathan and vakali you can actually look at i guess it's chapter number 5 or 